Hello friends, welcome you all in today's session. Today's topic that is implementation of IPM. So let's see what are the contents. First, let's recap the last session. During last uh, lecture, we studied survey, surveillance and disease forecasting. Now the lecture, it is about implementation of IPM. So what is implementation? Uh, what is its process? What are different steps which are involved in it? Then uh, what is uh, impact of uh, IPM? And last, that is conclusion. So first of all, uh, what is implementation? It is a process of putting a plan into action effect or it is also a execution. Uh, as we can see, implementation, it is a four-step process. It involves a series of uh, evaluation, decision and control. First one, act to prevent problems. Second, set action threshold. Third, monitor and identify pests. Fourth, take control. So let's see in detail in that first one, act to prevent problem. As this is first line of defense, main aim is to keep areas healthy. Then uh, IPM program, it should focus on the proper planting and uh, cultural practices. Uh, that practices uh, should be effective and uh, cost efficient. Then next one, set action threshold. Before taking any action, managers should decide whether action is needed or not. And if there is only one pest, that means here action is not needed. Third one, monitor and identify pest. There are many organism or pest in that some are useful while some are harmful. Pest identification, it should be done properly to take appropriate control measures. What are the benefits? That is a uh, proper identification reduces the chances of uh, application of wrong pesticide or application at the uh, wrong time which uh, causes loss of time and money. Fourth one, take control. Based on effectiveness and uh, risk, choose the proper control method, use integrated or combined control practices, avoid spraying of broad spectrum pesticides. So there are uh, steps of, uh, these are the steps for the implementation. Next, that is regarding impact of IPM. Uh, regarding production, production of pesticide in India, it started in the year around uh, 1952 and in Asia, India ranks first for the production of uh, pesticides. Then uh, pattern of pesticide uses of India and world that is different as shown in the pie chart. As you can see in India, among pesticides, 70% is uh, insecticide. Uh, while that of uh, in case of world only 40 percent use is there uh, likewise of others then uh, use of fungicide and herbicide it is uh, less heavy in india as compared with world and uh, insecticide uses then next benefits of uh, pesticides pesticides gives a higher yield and better quality and uh, reduces the losses caused which by the diseases or pests or weeds then uh, hazards of uh, regarding hazards of pesticides chemicals used in pesticides they pose a great risk to humans and uh, gifting unwanted side effects uh, for example chronic diseases then uh, contaminate uh, the environment soil vegetation water also kills the beneficial uh, microorganisms then uh, there is a body or committee regarding uh, surveillance of uh, food contaminants in India for checking how much amount of pesticide contamination in foodstuff is present. Then uh, that is example, for example, in Kerala in the year 1958, uh, due to uh, wheat flour get contaminated with parakeon, 100 people died. Then next one, impact on, uh, uh, impact on the environment through runoff or the surface water contamination uh, through runoff from the treated plants, pesticide reach the surface water and uh, contaminate all the streams and rivers. Then uh, 
ग्राउंड वॉटर कंटेमिनेशन इट इज अ वर्ल्ड वाइड प्रॉब्लम वन्स ग्राउंड वॉटर इज पोल्यूटेड विद अ टॉक्सिक केमिकल्स इट मे टेक इयर टू बी क्लीन अप एंड दिस क्लीन अप मे बी वेरी कॉस्टली एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोसेस देन नेक्स्ट वन देर इज अ हेवी ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ सॉइल विद केमिकल्स इट रिड्यूसेस द पॉप्युलेशन ऑफ बेनिफिशियल सॉइल माइक्रोब्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू फोर डी विडिसाइड इट रिड्यूसेस द नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन बाय द बैक्टीरिया देन नेक्स्ट दैट इज पेस्टिसाइड स्प्रेस दे डिरेक्टली हिट द एयर सॉइल देन अदर नॉन टारगेट ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड दे कैन ड्रिफ्ट और वोलाटाइज from the treated area and uh, contaminate in the soil air etc also causes uh, loss of chemical due to drift then uh, in case of uh, non target organisms they harm plant animals fish birds for example chloropyrifos it is a common contaminant and uh, it is highly toxic to fish and killed uh, fishes uh, near the waterways and etc so far we studied implementation process which are different steps involved in it then uh, impact of ipm in that uh, benefits and hazards of pesticides etc so nature is a miracle we depend upon thanks for listening stay tuned